Oh, I had a call girl. What? Again? Wow. See this? Yeah. Now, oh, there go the man right there. I'm finna go too. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not, it's not a big deal. It's probably taking like 10 minutes. Yeah, I'll, I'll be home soon. Don't, don't wait, I'll just... I got the team here. And, um, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll, just, I'll see you when you're home. Hey, what's up? Who are you talking to? Hey, this is my girl. Who? My girl. Oh, this. Your girl? Yeah, my girl. What's the problem? You're not telling you don't tell nobody this? I ain't telling anybody. You talk, what are you talking about? I I I just talking about. Oh, this is it. Get, put him in the car. Get him up, get him in the car. Get him up. Trash in the carriage. Get him up. Get him up. Get him up. Trash. Somebody dressed just like you out of alley, messing around with a body. That, that was you, wasn't it? No, no, it wasn't me, man. What, what you went to now, Rick? Nothing, nothing, man. I'm just, I'm just, uh, just going around, just uh, taking care of my uh, business. That's all. Right, right. I saw you outside, man. You, you're not fooling me. I'm telling you, man. It's not. Look, it's dropping, man. I know it was you. Now tell me what's going on. Nothing, man. I'm trying to tell you. I'm not doing no fleet service. Straight, flat out, I'm not doing no fleet service. I'm not working with that friend of yours. It's shady. You shady. You got the dirt underneath your fingernails. I can, I can see it, man. It's all over you. I saw you out there, so you can just drop the act, man, for real. No, oh, man, I just, just didn't have time to like.
I would have bought it. That was you, wasn't it? No, no, it wasn't me, man. What, what you went to now, Rick? Nothing, nothing, man. I'm just, I'm just, uh, just going around just trying to take care of my uh, business. That's all. Right, right. I saw you outside, man. You, you're not fooling me. I'm telling you, man. It's not. Look, it, drop it, man. I know it was you. Now tell me what's going on. Nothing, man. I'm trying to tell you. I'm, I'm not doing no fleet service. Straight, flat out. I'm not doing no fleet service. I'm not working with that friend of yours. It's shady. You shady. You got the dirt underneath your fingernails. I can, I can see it, man. It's all over you. I saw you out there, so you can just drop the act, man, for real. No, oh, man. I just, just didn't have time to like cool my hair after I got off. After you got finished messing around with that body in the alley. That wasn't me, man. Rick, I'm not stupid. I'm not stupid, Rick. Look, I'm, I'm not, I'm not working with your friend. You can forget about that. I'm not doing it. And after everything that you getting into, I don't even know if I want to be around you anymore. It was nothing. Nothing? Moving dead bodies is like nothing to you? No, that, that wasn't me, man. Okay, all right. Now, so now you think I'm a fool, too. On top of everything else, after everything you already got me into, now you're trying to take me for stupid. No, it's, it's good money. You're going to get paid good Whatever, money. man. Look, I'm not doing it. As a matter of fact... Not for, for a rap record label? You know, at least maybe I can use that as leverage to maybe keep myself safe. Maybe. But I'm not... I'm not doing it. Just flat out. You just forget about it. And, um... Maybe you shouldn't be here right now. Maybe you should go before somebody sees you like that. Well, you, uh, I at least don't want to tie the knee. You should go, Rick. Don't be sitting here, man. But he's dead. Victor is dead. I didn't think I'd be involved with a murder. So what? I knew he won, right? I'll tell you this right here. See? That's a prime example of what can happen if you talk too much. Prime example. There better not be no witnesses at all. Did y'all see anybody? No, I didn't see nobody. I felt something strange, but I didn't see nothing either. But that's a prime example, like I said. See? I had a feeling about him too, man. I had a feeling about it. You know what, my man? I should have listened to you. That's all right, though. Anything else like that, bring it to my attention immediately. Let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go. Hey, Tracy. What's up? What are you doing here? I wasn't expecting you today. Well, I mean, I just, uh, I wanted to see you, sweetheart. Well, you should have called first. Oh. Why is it? Was it something you're not telling me? Well, uh -huh. Yes. There is Rick. Well, uh, I mean, what is it? I can't be with you anymore. What do you mean you can't be with me no more? So wait a minute, hold up. You breaking up with me? Why? Things just isn't working out. I met someone else. 
Wait a minute, hold up, hold up. You mean to tell me I stopped by? You telling me you breaking up with me? What over another man? It's not. Hello, sunshine. Who is this? Rick, meet my new girlfriend, Melanie. Hello. Wait. You mean to tell me you broke up with me? For a woman? A woman? So you say I couldn't make you happy? Well, she completes me. And she makes me happy in a way that you couldn't. Wait. <clears throat> what do you mean I couldn't make you happy? Kissing. What? Yes. Sister Jeannie. Yes, and you know they're each married to someone other than, you know, each other. I didn't know that. Isn't that awful? What? I think I ought to report them. That's a shame. Yes. I don't know. I think you should mind your own business. Well, I, I, listen, if we let them get away with that, that's a reflection on us. They're our colleagues. And if they're doing that, it's going to get out. Wait just a minute. And how's going to make hold us hold look? Hold wait, wait just a minute. This is Pastor John. I, 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 I think we've we all done something wrong. Not me. <laughs> I, I never do anything wrong. Sister Jean, <laughs> we all. No. But we, we, no. we don't want to just uh, turn them That's in. True. They live. should have thought about that. There are consequences to your actions. They should have thought about that. I never would have done anything like that. I think they deserve another chance. I don't. I, I agree. And you know what? I feel that you all are ganging up against no, no, me. No, no, Sister That's Jean. how I feel. No, no. You all don't know. I caught my husband in the copy room with an employee. And that's why we're divorced today. Why? Yes. How long has this been? About 15 years ago. 15 oh, years ago. Wait a minute. You still have bygone be bygone. Yes. yes. You could sit up here being all sanctimonious. But look, there's your wife over there with Brother J uh, Pierce. Oh, not my wife. That is your perfect. wife over there hugging Brother Pierce. My wife is perfect. No. <laughs> uh, so what you got to say about that I now, Deacon? I think I'm going to pray for But with the Deacon Pierce, you know what? Right. We gotta pray. Lord, we come now. Let's Lord we come to pray for these. Yes, Lord. Lord that you touch their heart. Spring them out. Yes, Jesus. Heal them out. I thank you and kill me. Jesus. Amen. And uh, you're tuning in to ADI Entertainment. We um, have some more, couple more questions. Very important questions. The information that we want. For you to know about right now, so we're gonna ask Lieutenant Colonel, is there anything else that you'd like our listening audience and viewing viewing audience to know about? Well, we are still uh, taking in more kids for our cadets, and we call them cadets because they're in specialized training. Uh, we're always open to taking them. We prefer them from about the age of eight and up, but we will take them as low as the kindergarten. Uh, if anybody is interested in their child becoming a part of our unit, we're gonna be doing this citywide. You can always call 313-384-7460. Again, that's 313-384-7460. And also for some of the cadets that will be coming in that can't afford possibly to buy any part of their uniform or something like that, we also uh, ask that sponsors come in and, and choose a child and, and do something for them just to help that kid carry on the way that we need them to do. Well, that sounds really great. 
Also, we want to also let them know that this is a very busy man. You have an organization of your own that you might want the community to know about. Well, yes, uh, I did start an organization. It's called the Michigan Child Developmental Team. And we work with uh, different agencies and different programs to help our children to become what they need to be to be able to survive throughout their time in this world. Uh, it's a great way to go, and anything that we can do to help our youth, because they are our future, it is not only our privilege, but it is also our job to do. That's right. Would you want to give that telephone number? Can they reach you at the same number for both entities? For both of them, yes, they can. You can. If I don't answer, they can simply leave a message, and I will return that call ASAP. Again, that number is 313-384-7460. Well, Colonel Melbourne, we're going to have you back. Oh, we have, remember, you have a radio show, too, that they want you to tune in to. Uh-oh. A uh, little bit more yes, info. Yes, we do, because I want to do something extra for our young people. So I started the radio program that they can go forth and tell the world how great they are in the city of Detroit. And that radio station is? You can look for us at 1440 AM, and that will be right now, Friday evening, 715 to 730. That's right. It's WDRJ AM 1440. And they also stream live. You can tune in and you can go to WDRJ1440.com, any one of those websites, and you can go to hear the live streaming. So if you can't hear them on your radio where you are, you can go online and pick it up as well. Once again, we thank you, Colonel Wilburn. We wish you the best in everything that you're doing. And uh, stay tuned. We'll be right back with our famous artists coming up. So again, once again, this is ADI Entertainment, and here is our one of our special guests again, is Mr. Jason Bethel. I'm going to put this right in your face. You see that? Huh? You, you, you know, okay. You, you said that like you don't remember my last name. I remember you well. <laughs> if you hadn't seen our conversation ahead, you would have heard something else. Anyway, <laughs> we're only kidding. It's, it's, it just doesn't That's hurt right. a little fun. That's right. But, um, on a serious tip, this gentleman is here because he has awesome anointed music and we have a concert coming up at the First Congregational Church of Detroit, Michigan, right? That's right. And That's it's the right. First Underground Railroad Church. So it's a historical place and it's going to be June the 20th from 6.30 to 9.30. That's right. And I can hardly wait to hear this gentleman. We have some other guests too. Uh, Awesome, awesome, that's all I can say. And when I met him, I met him, I worked the engineering at the radio station, and I'm going, okay, I got this program coming up. I'm looking for the right person, guy. I'm like, send me the right person with the right, the right ambiance, the right feel, you know. And it steps this gentleman into a show that I was engineering, and I didn't know I would get a chance to talk to him, right? The, the, the host was so gracious to send him back to talk to me. I'm like, you know, that's God, right? He's right. That's so ever right. since then, we have been on a mighty high about this major concert that's coming up. And I do mean major. In, in, in the instance that something new, but it's something old. The anointing is something old. The Holy Ghost is something old. But it's coming through the new vessels. Um, he may not be so new in the community, but he may be new coming up to, for you to know. And so it's a inspirational event, but it's also a promotional event because we want the world to know all the great people that we have in the city of Detroit right. that are very awesome. And we know that guys gonna take us to the top. So tell us a little bit about your CD. And I just love that first song that comes on. You <laughs> know, that's what got me, that first song. So you going to, this I lift my hands. I lift my hands. Well, I mean, the album pretty much is, uh, it's a maxi single uh, from the upcoming album, All In. Um, I'm excited about that. So basically what it is, is um, I've been doing music since I was two years old. Um, I've been fortunate, fortunate enough to have great parents that uh, that uh, raised me uh, in the church. But you know, a lot of people say, "Well, I was raised in the church," but I, I'm glad to be able to. We are entertainment. We are your host, and uh, we're doing something a little different. But we have a nice group here. We have graceful anointing, and that's my head. If you see my head and shoulder, that's just me, folks. Okay. <laughs> uh, creativity. That's what it is. We want to make sure we get everybody in this set. And uh, Grace Anointing, tell us a little bit about yourself. I know Sheila, if you're looking at television right now, she is to the left of your screen. Sheila, Alexia, is next. Ebony, oh my God, please say your name. <laughs> it's Kishard. Kishard, oh see, I, I think I was even mad at me. 
I'm keep shards. It. <laughs> it's pretty. Yeah. But uh, I probably would have read it wrong. But anyhow, we just have so much fun with these with these wonderful interviews. Again, we have another great group. It's called Grace Woman Anointing. They're going to tell us a little bit about themselves and the history. But they're going to be at the sophisticated praise. And I just can't wait to see these ladies get up and show out. Yes. The Graceful Anointing. So, Sheila, tell us a little bit about you and your group. Okay, so Graceful Anointing started in 1989. Um, our elect lady, Doreen Bethel, received a, a word that to start a, a dance ministry. And she did. And the anointing has been a form race for anointing since she started it. She passed it down to me in 2009. And I must say that I have been enjoying um, being a director of a race for anointing since that day. Like, it's just, I just have such a great passion for dance, especially just dancing for God and just doing something so unique and different but still giving him the praise and the glory and still getting people set free and delivered and breaking yokes and bondages from in people's lives. Like, so it's just, it's awesome. And then it's just awesome to also have these ladies on my side to do it with me. Um, I am the director, but we're a team. All right. So, and we are family, we're a sisterhood. So that's just, it's just awesome. I agree, it's awesome. All right, Kevin. See, this thing is escalating. We're already feeling like this is June 20th already, right? Right. We're getting ready. So this is, this is just like, can you imagine what kind of day that's going to be when everybody comes out, when graceful noise Ooh. comes out, and Ooh. they flow up and down Ooh. the aisle um, in the Holy Spirit doing their beautiful dance. Yes. Um, graceful anointing is one of our top features for that day. So they'll be treated, of course, with, uh, they're going to be performing with Jason, right? Yes. Jason Bethel. And so then excited. Yeah, I am too. Very, I am so too. excited. And, I, I you know, this is crazy. I just can't. I just want to, like, I want to <laughs> keep on. I want it now. I don't want to keep going forever. Right. And, and then you have an opportunity to perform as Graceful Anointing. So this is going to be just such a grand opportunity for us to see you. So I want you, um, Sheila, Alexia, tell us, how did you get into the Graceful Anointing? Well, I actually started dancing when I was 11 under our elect lady when she was over the dance ministry and I stopped for a while and then I came when I started back up when I was with Sheila and I've, I have a strong passion for dance like I dance at every moment I can and I love it and I love the Lord and I love the gift that he's given me. Well, the and light is shining. All of you guys have a light going on. <laughs> light bulb. You know, that's what all the ghosts does. Yes, so I want to use my gift to break yokes and set people free and bring them back to God. Yeah, because yeah. that's what we're supposed yeah, to do. Man, yeah, it, it, it promotes healing and people mm -hmm. that are depressed. You know, it's, it's a joy in the music and the dancing. Just like David was an apple of God's eye. You know, and he danced and he sang. So right. God uses us in our capacity and to, to make people's lives change. If you yeah. can actually be delivered from sin through the song and the praise. And we know that the ministry is in, comes in different forms. Yeah. Well, Ebony, tell us a little bit about you and how did you get started? Um, I started dancing when I was like around 14. I started about high school age um, when I joined Butterfly Christian Center back in 2008. Um, I saw the dance ministry go forth and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to be a part, I have to be a part. So um, as soon as the opportunity became available, I joined the ministry. That is awesome. I did see a video. You guys don't play. <laughs> you don't play. That was just a video that she did. But see, let me see a little bit. Oh, man. I think it was you. I remember you had some moves. I'm like, <laughs> she talked about that. Right? I remember. Oh, yes. I'm trying to figure out what you was doing. You had some stuff on. That's the intro that I just, you know, wanted to inspire to educate people and become more than just a hairdresser. Become someone that cared about the hair and care about people and care about what I have to offer and what I have to bring. Um, I've done things as far as educating myself as far as on extensions. I've done extra classes with Paul Mitchell as far as on color, on cuts. So um, I, at, at Paul Mitchell, I, uh, my overall 
Theory was a 97% um, on theory, and that's the book work part of it. So I just began to get really, really involved in the hair care and the hair and aspect. I style hair very well, but I, my first and foremost thing is hair care. And that is what, you know, I care about the most is hair care. And then after that, then it becomes the style and, you know, the things of that nature. Um, I am located in Southfield at the beautiful Hair Suites. That's on 11 Mile between Lasser and Evergreen. Um, I lease out a hair uh, a suite. It's very intimate, very pretty. I love it, love it, love it. Um, Instagram, you know me and my. Uh, you can. My name is Healthy Hair Kim, and it's just like it sounds. Healthy, H E A L T H Y Hair H A I R Kim K I M. And I also have a website that you can go on to and check me out. Check out my products. Personally, my number, 248-733-4505. Again, that number is 248-733-4505. And my website is amarilucille.com. That's www.amari Lucille. L-U-C-I-L-L-E dot com. Like I said, I was saying earlier, you can go on there. What's going on y'all, it's Mr. Bell. Some know me as Anton Choirboy Bell. Others know me as Elder Anton Bell. I am co-CEO of Bell Global Network, VGN TV 2090. And I want to invite you right now to get your own broadcast. I'm calling all ministers, all politicians, all business owners. Get your own broadcast right now, starting at $99. And if you have an idea for a TV show, we can bring your idea to reality. We have packages available that include production and facilities. Also, we have advertising packages starting at through to $25. So don't hesitate. Give us a call at 313-355-7877. Once again, that's 313-355-7877 to make an appointment today.